everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy 2018! Oh my goodness, we're into 2018. This is my first video of this year and what a way to do it with a nice good Disney haul. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. I hope it was safe. I hope you were treated very nicely by Santa Claus. I hope you got to spend it the way you wanted to. And I hope you all had a lovely new year. I had a week off from vlogging, like completely. I didn't do weekly vlogging. I, I finished a vlogmas. Yeah, I've had a week off. I didn't want to get a video up before now, I'll be honest. But yeah, you know what I'm like, things get carried away if you watch my weekly vlogs. I always get busy, things get in the way. And I find it hard to film because I get like tired and stuff because I've got ME. Blah, 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 never mind. We're here now and I'm going to show you everything that I got for Christmas that is Disney. So last year I did this video and I showed you just the Disney stuff that I got for Christmas um, because that's what you guys asked for. But this year I've had quite a lot of requests asking if I could show non-Disney things that I also got for Christmas as well. So it is basically going to be a Disney haul. I'm going to show you everything I got Disney for Christmas first. And then I will show you a couple of other pieces that I got for Christmas that aren't Disney for anyone that's interested in that. So if you just want to see the Disney, watch the first part of the video. And if you want to see pretty much everything I got for Christmas, then just keep watching. And at the very end, I did buy a couple of things, like three things in the sales with some Christmas money that I got after Christmas. So I may as well show you that now as well because I don't really know where else to put it. So that's going to be at the very end. So yeah, I'm just going to show you everything I got for Christmas, but it will be predominantly a Disney haul because it's going to be Disney stuff first. I've actually genuinely really missed doing videos as well. Like this feels really good to be back and speaking to you. It's like I miss you, I really do. Just want to say really quickly now as well, if at any point the camera decides to focus on Minnie's face, which wouldn't surprise me because it does it loads, then I'm sorry and I'll try and pick up on it if I can. So yeah, I'll try not to look up there too much and I'll try not to let it focus on Minnie too much. But let's get into the video and let me show you what I got Disney for Christmas and then the rest of the stuff. So the first presents I opened on the morning were from Matthew, my boyfriend if you didn't know, because obviously I live with him. So we opened our presents in bed, um, which is what we normally do and it's always really nice. And he got me a couple of things from H. Samuel, so let me show you those first. Actually, I think one of these wasn't from H. Samuel, but it was in the bag with the thing that is from H. Samuel. But uh, it makes sense though, because jewellery. But I don't think it was. But anyway, I'll show you the first thing. So the first thing is actually on my bedside table here. Oh, before I forget, grab yourself a cup of tea and get comfy, because it's going to be a long one. So the first thing I opened off Matthew was this mini mouse watch. Oh my goodness, I absolutely adore this watch. The only thing I will say is that I think it was a bit weird that it came on a piece of cardboard. I guess it's because it's actually a kid's watch. Um, I don't know though, personally I still think that this should put in a little bit more effort than a bit of cardboard because it is such a nice watch. Like, it is so much more like expensive looking than what it actually was. So I showed um, Matthew this a couple of days before Christmas in H. Samuel. We went in to have a look because I knew they had a range of Disney watches. I didn't ask for it but obviously I showed an interest because when we, if you watch this part of Vlogmas then you'll probably know what day I'm talking about. But we went apart for a couple of hours while we're at, well I say a couple of hours, it was probably about half an hour, while we are at the shops and he must have gone back in and got me it because I'd said on the day that I really wanted it. So I wasn't expecting to get it for Christmas but I did show an interest in it you could see. So yeah this is actually a kids watch and that's why I wanted to go in and have a look first so I needed to see if it was actually going to fit my wrists or I would have to go an adult one. They didn't have any of the adult watches in the H. Samuel I went into in Metro Centre. They just had loads of kids ones. There's some really nice ones by the way. Like I wouldn't mind quite a few more of these. Like I feel like I could generally really make the effort every day to want to wear this. Like I used to be a watch person when I was younger. I'm not so much now, but I have found myself every day, even when I've just been in the house, want to put this on because I love it so much. So let me give you a close up. So I tried it on in the store and it fit and I was really happy. There was also a black one with Mickey on in the kids section. So the strap is actually rubber, which um, it is white rubber. So I actually wore it all day on Christmas day with my Mickey and Minnie Christmas jumper from Disney store, which because it's red and brand new, it ever so slightly started to dye the side of the rubber on the side where the jumper was, which was a bit worrying. So I took it straight off. So I would recommend not wearing this with clothes that are more likely to rub colour onto it. So I haven't wore it as much on days where I've had like long jumpers on. Like I wouldn't wear it with this until it's been washed a few times because it would probably start to dye it pink. But that's just because this is a white one. There's a bell one with a yellow strap. Um, there's a black one with the Mickey on. And it says Disney on the back there and then you just kind of do it up 
through the holes. So yeah, I knew I really wanted this one. There's also like a rose gold one with mini on. I basically just really wanted one with the arms because I just think it's really cute. And I think with it being white and there's just a little hint of pink on our shoes and our bow, is it just me or is this quite chic? Like, I think this is really sophisticated for a Disney kids watch. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really like it, like really like it. So it was $17.99 in H. Samuel. I think you can also get it on like Amazon and stuff like it's not like exclusive to H. Samuel. And yeah they do a range of kids watches which are really affordable. They had a bigger one with Beauty and the Beast on from like the original like an animated like cartoon Beauty and the Beast if that makes any sense. And like the dancing scene and it was like a bigger one. It was down to £15 after Christmas when I went back in. So yeah they are really affordable and really nice. Um, I absolutely love mine. I really do. Like, I just love it. It's, I think it's my favourite thing that I got at Christmas, along with something else that Matthew got me, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so yeah, $17.99, and they also have adults ones, but even though everything was gifted to me, I will try and link what I can below, and I might not always be able to say prices, but I do know how much this was, because um, I chose it. I didn't exactly choose it for Christmas, but I'm, you know, you know what I mean. So yeah, I might not always say where it was from, or how much it was, because there were gifts at the end of the day, but also at the end of the day, I am a Disney blogger, so I kind of know where a lot of Disney merchandise is. So even stuff that I didn't know I was getting Disney for Christmas, like off Matthew's sister and stuff, I know where it's from and I know how much it is because I'm just Disney merchandise obsessed. So I don't mind telling you because I already know, but if I don't know the price, then I'll just link what I can below or I'll tell you where it's from, that sort of thing. But this one was $17.99 from H. Samuel, but I know you can get it on Amazon and things like that. So that was the first thing I opened on Christmas Day. And I really, really love it. So thank you very much, Matthew. So the next thing was something, but like, actually, I didn't ask for anything for Christmas. Like, I didn't ask for anything. Like, I think there's always just kind of things that I kind of would like and that I am interested in. And Matthew does a very good job of remembering. And he's like, he's, he, I think it's because he struggled so much when we first started going out, like, 11 years ago to get me presents so like now if I show an interest in something in the shops sometimes I catch him taking a photo of it so he's obviously trying to remember it for later for an occasion so yeah I've mentioned one something like this for quite a while and I didn't know I was getting it and I got them and I love them so basically this is Disney Couture jewellery like it comes in a little pouch like this um, I don't have anything from Disney Couture. I've heard of it. I know who they are. I know that Disney Store sells the stuff. I know they have their own like store, uh, like website. Uh, so yeah, Disney Store sells it all and that sort of thing. So, so it comes in a nice pouch like that. But what I did find a little bit weird, and I think like for some of the prices of some of the stuff you pay from Disney Couture, I know the more expensive items do come in boxes, but still, the piece of jewellery came in this bag inside the pouch and like that's not Matthew's fault or anything but Disney Couture, not that you'll be watching this, but if you are I think you need to step up your game a little bit with regards to a plastic bag like I kind of know how much these earrings were and I just think a plastic bag just doesn't give them justice like this is lovely just a little, I don't know, like a smaller pouch like just something, like I just feel like a plastic bag is very weird but anyway he got me a pair of Mickey Mouse silhouette shaped uh, studs and they are white gold um, plated so they're not pure white gold I think um, but they are white gold plated so I think this is their kind of range of earrings that start off around the 20 to 40 pound mark I'm not sure and then they do like pure white gold or pure nine carat gold which goes up to like 50 to 80 quid I'm just like trying to work it out for you guys like I don't want to like brag or anything just in case anyone is actually interested in getting anything from them I'm sure you can go and have a look yourself but yeah they do um a range of jewelry from right up to from like 20 quid up to 100 so I'm not exactly sure how much these ones were um but I will say that I didn't even know these ones existed because I only really knew that Disney Couture um, was on Disney Store but these ones aren't on Disney Store so Matthew did very well for finding these because this is exactly what I wanted and I was really really happy to get them so so basically they are just little white gold uh, plated earring like little studs with a little back on them there and um, this is plain just little silhouettes and this is exactly what I've been after for years like I can't even tell you how long I've been after a pair of earrings like this I keep checking on the Disney store website to see if there's any more Um, I know Primark do them and I know Claire's accessories do them but I can't wear cheap earrings in my ears like I can't buy Primark's earrings Um, I'll probably will and then try them and then regret it 
but my ears are very temperamental. They took two years to heal when I got them pierced. Um, yeah, so I've been wanting a pair of earrings that I can leave in my ears and they won't hurt my ears. And I knew I needed a bit more of an expensive pair, like white gold or gold or something like that. So I just wanted some plain ones that I can leave in all the time and they're not really in your face, but I wanted Disney. In fact, I said to Matthew, probably it's about a year ago, I don't know how long ago, I've been after them a long time, that I just wanted some Mickey stud silhouette earrings and he found me them and I don't know where he found these so you'll have to type into Google and have a look around. I know they're not on the Disney store website but I couldn't believe it when I opened them. I was like oh my god they are perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Like I hadn't really looked properly myself to be honest because I knew I couldn't afford them and I don't want to spend that amount of money on myself. Like, like I said I don't know how much they were but I know they're probably more than 20. I don't know around that mark. And I always feel guilty spending that much on myself unless it's a Primark haul. So yeah, finally got a hold of these. Very happy with them, like unbelievably happy. Thank you so much, Matthew. And I've worn them all day on quite a few days now since Christmas and they don't hurt my ears at all. I can't believe it. So I think this is my first pair of proper earrings. I think I've always just bought crappy ones and I am very, very happy to finally have these. So I've just had these on my trinket dish on the side of my bedside table since Christmas or obviously I've had them in but when I'm not wearing them so I'm very happy with these and now that I know they don't hurt my ears I kind of really want some more Disney Couture earrings so yeah they were however much Disney Couture that's all I know. So the next thing is also so here is also from Matthew and um, again if you watch my vlogmas or my weekly vlogs I pointed this out in Primark said that I really liked it didn't ask for it and then Matthew got me it for Christmas so I wasn't expecting this but I freaking love it. If you don't know who this is, then my god, you have missed out. And yes, yes it is Disney. Um, so basically, it's the Ducks. The Mighty Ducks. Oh my god, what a movie though, seriously. Like, I remember when my nana bought it for me on video or VHS or whatever. And for ages I didn't watch it because I was like, I think I was about six. And I was just like, no. I'm not really interested, like, I don't know, you know when you get a lot of things for Christmas when you're little and you just probably got too much and I just wasn't interested, like, I don't know. And then one day I was like, oh, I'm going to watch this, you know, I got this for Christmas with my little sister. I was just obsessed. Number two and number three are not very good, to be honest, but number one, I absolutely love. So he got me the hockey t-shirt from Mighty Ducks and this is Primark because I know that because I pointed it out. So he's peeled the sticker off. I can't remember how much it was, maybe around £8 and it was in the men's section. Um, so yeah, he didn't get it on the day that I pointed it out. He went back to get it, bless him, and it had pretty much sold out apart from in a small, which a small fits me fine, like I probably am like a small if I want my clothes to fit. But with it being a hockey t-shirt, even he wanted it bigger, like he wanted it to look like a hockey t-shirt. So um, yeah. He tried to get me in a bigger size. He had his sister looking for it as well. And unfortunately he couldn't. But at least this still fits me. Um, I think it looks quite cute with a pair of jeans. And maybe like a longer white top underneath. Like in the winter and stuff. So I'm very, very happy just to have it to be honest. Because I do remember looking at it and being like, I really like that. Like it's not very often you see Ducks merchandise. Like seriously. I haven't even seen anybody talk about this on Instagram. I think it's snuck in there. So I love that. And yeah, that was another thing I got off Matthew. So if you watch my weekly vlogs, you'll probably know that for quite a while now I've been living in Matthew's dressing gown because I just need a new dressing gown. Like, I don't really like my dressing gowns. And there was two that I had my eye on and one was a Harry Potter Slytherin one and then the other one was this one and it sold out and Matthew must have got it for me before it sold out. So I didn't know I was getting this, but I was hoping for a new dressing gown. And I did ask for this when it like first got released, like end of November. So bless him, he must have managed to get it somehow and he got it in the size that I like as well. But it is basically the Cinderella dressing gown from Asda. I know that because I asked for it. I mean, I said I wanted it, I said I needed a new dressing gown and it just kept selling out and he, he obviously managed to get it for us. So it's quite hard to show but it's like a light kind of blue. I think it's kind of like the sky. So it's got a nice hood. It is really soft and fleecy, like it's so nice. Um, and then on the right pocket, on the right pocket, on the right like chest area, I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a castle and then Cinderella is on the front as well. And then on the other side it's just plain, but that side you are supposed to like fold underneath the other side on the front of you, if that makes sense. And then the back, whew, this is so hard to show you. The back is basically 
the front again on the one of the sides so there's the castle again and then I don't know if you can see that but hopefully you can and Cinderella kind of like from above in a ball gown Ooh. so the only thing I'll say about this dressing gown is that I normally fold my left side under and then the right side over the top and then tie it but on this dressing gown you have to do it the other way to be able to see Cinderella and yeah I've tried doing it the other way and it's not something I ever thought about before I got this dressing gown and it feels really wrong and weird so Cinderella's on the wrong side Asda but um, maybe that's just me but Matthew folds his dressing gown the other way so maybe it's just me I don't know um, but we were discussing that maybe it's one of those guy girl things where they put pockets and zips and buttons and things on the other side depending on if it's girls or boys clothes so yeah I don't know maybe I'm just folding it wrong I don't know and the other thing as well is that one sleeve is quite a bit longer than the other so I don't know why but anyway I absolutely love it and I wasn't expecting it to get it to get it for Christmas like I did say to Matthew I need a new dressing gown I really like this one but it kept selling out it was really popular so I'm very happy that he managed to get me this and I wasn't I was expecting a dressing gown but I didn't know he, he managed to get me it so if I remember rightly this was 20 pound from Asda but honestly the way it sold out and it was a good month ago I don't think it'll be available anymore but I do recommend checking out Asda for their um what is in my mouth for their um women's pajamas range like they have amazing Disney pajamas in Asda like seriously like great quality ones as well in fact I have a pair to show you because Matthew's sister got me a pair so I'll show you them in a second okay so that's everything Disney off Matthew for Christmas he did get me something else but I'll show you that after I've shown you all the Disney stuff I think I said last year that I wasn't really going to say who got me what but just so that it's easier in my head to try and make sure I show you everything I guess I will just say who was who they were off I don't think it really matters though like yeah you know what I mean because a lot of people got me non-Disney stuff this year um so yeah it's just easier in my head but this one was off Matthew's mom and um, although technically you could probably say it was off his sister as well just because the way his mom and Matthew's like mom and sister are um they basically like best friends and they do everything together so they probably bought it together I don't know but anyway uh, this was officially off Matthew's mom and I had an inkling that I was going to get this because I did I've been after this for a long time I tried to get it when, when, when I went to the Disney store event um, back in November but he was sold out when I went to the event like in the store if you don't know what I'm talking about uh, go and check out my Disney store event vlog um, and then Disney store event haul um, but yeah so I tried to get this then I've been after it for a very long time I tried to get him every time I went to Disneyland Paris and he, you probably know what I'm on about now and he was sold out and then they brought him over to the UK and yeah every time he's in store I either don't have the money or I go in to get him and he's sold out so I finally got him I got Cogsworth oh god it's swinging everywhere but yeah I finally got the Disney store he is actually switched on right now so I need to be really careful well he's got a battery in him should I say but I finally got Disney store Cogsworth I've been after him for a very long time I never thought I'd be able to get him because he was at one point only available in the parks so I was very very glad to get this on Christmas Day and um, yeah I, I opened it and I was just like what the heck I mean this is not a cheap gift like I'm very grateful and um, I'm sure you all know his Disney store and how much he retails for but if anyone is interested I will link it below um, but yeah he's he's a working clock and I love him I have the Primark one but I prefer the Disney store Cogsworth but I prefer the Primark Lumiere so he now sits in front of my telly with Lumiere from Primark so I never got the Disney store Lumiere but I do have the Primark Cogsworth and he's on my windowsill downstairs so yeah he sits with Lumiere so this bit's like a magnet it kind of opens the pendulum doesn't swing in time with like seconds it just kind of randomly swings um he's not loud he hasn't broke I know a lot of people have problems with this guy but mine's has been fine so far I mean I've only had him about a week or so and then this bit magnets off the back as well and then that's the little stuff in there Ooh. so yeah I finally got Cogsworth I love him he's so cute I just absolutely love him so I am very very like so grateful to get this like he's what he's something I've wanted to add to my collection for a very long time like as soon as I got him I was just like he's so much better than the Primark one like it's such a shame that Primark just painted on the pendulum on their one because the Lumiere that they brought out is so good but anyway I was very glad to get Cogsworth so I finally got him in my collection 
So I got a couple of things um, Disney from Matthew's sister. So the first thing I got was this set of pyjamas. Um, I know these are from Asda because I've seen them. So these are from Asda. I think they're around £18. I didn't ask for them but everybody just knows that I'm obsessed with Disney. So yeah, I really really like the Asda Disney pyjamas. I think the quality of them is great. Not that the Primark ones aren't good but I think I've gotten so used to one store's quality so much that when I try on another store, it's not necessarily better, but it is different. Um, so yeah, I do like to treat myself to the Asda ones and somebody else treated me to them. So yeah, these have got um, Snow White, Belle, Jasmine and Ariel all over them. Oh, and Cinderella. And they're kind of blue and pink themed. So like Jasmine's got pink on, Ariel's got pink on, Cinderella's got blue on. So I don't know how well you can see that. But it's just kind of that pattern all over the trousers. Um, and she obviously knows that I like my trousers, my pyjamas big. Because she got me the 12 to 14. Which is what size I buy the Asda pyjamas in. And then the top is like a jumper. So these are like more kind of wintry. And it has like... Has it got all five of them on there? Can't even see. Oh yeah it does. Hang on the mailman's at the door. Okay I hope things haven't changed too much. It was my mailman. I've ordered some new cup hangers because my Disney cup collection is getting out of control. But that's something for a weekly vlog, so check out the weekly vlogs! <laughs> Alright, so as I was saying, um, yeah, so there's, it says, It's a princess thing, made for adventure, anything is possible, dream big, rule the world, and nothing is impossible. So yeah, it's just got five of the princesses on there, and again, it's a 12 to 14, and it's just plain on the back with cuffs on the sleeves. So, ooh, I do recommend the Asda pyjamas. I really like them. They've got a really cool Maleficent set out with the minute. So yeah, that was off Matthew's sister. She also got me this colouring in book, which it doesn't come like that, but I have no idea how, because I was really careful with it, but the rabbit managed to chew the corner of it. Like it's okay because it's just paper. He's allowed to chew paper and cardboard, but obviously not brand new books. But I kept it off the floor. Like I don't understand when he did it. Like, he's a very little tinker. Like I picked it up to bring it upstairs, like off the bench. And I was like, how? How has he done that? So I'm pretty sure that's him. It looks like his work. Uh, but yeah, he's chewed the corner, but it hasn't affected the book, like it's still fine. But anyway, it's just um, 100 images to inspire creativity, Beauty and the Beast, Art of Colouring. And it's just got loads of like, uh, well, colouring pages in, like black and white, just like outlines. Oh my God. Oh my God, I love that smell. I love the smell of books. So yeah, it's just got some really nice things in there. And I love stuff like this because when I go to Disneyland, I normally go... The rabbit's under the bed. I normally go... Bun! Bun, you can't sit and chew all day. Are oh, you kidding us? So when I go to Disneyland, I go on the coach and it's a 16 hour journey. So I need things to keep me busy. And yeah, I love these colouring in books for when I'm on the coach. So this will definitely be going on my next Disneyland trip which hopefully will be very soon because I really miss it. <laughs> I'm really sorry if you can hear noises, but the rabbit is chewing stuff under the bed. Like he's got stuff under there, he's allowed to chew and it's raining. It's also pitch black. Like it was really weird that the mailman came in the pitch black and it's only four o'clock. Like it's pitch black. Anyway, so the next thing Matthew's sister got me, which I cannot wait to use. Like I'm actually really tempted to do it right now. Actually, yeah, we'll get one of these out and we'll do this. But basically she got me 19 removable decals uh gadget decals uh so they are like official disney princess and yeah they have like 19 different it's kind of like a rose gold coppery princess like little things that you stick on like gadgets so my computer um you can see the back of it like the way that the layout is in my other room so these will look great on the back of there and i'm gonna stick some on the back of my tablet as well which we're gonna do right now and see what these actually look like so i'm gonna pick one and i'm gonna stick it on the back of my tablet and we'll see what they look like so they come on these like sheets there's quite a few there's four sheets um and like some of them look like that i hope you can see that all right do -de do and then some of them are like completely colored all the way through um yeah how cool are these I want to stick one on my tablet because my tablet is white and gold. It was more rose gold when I got it, but I've had it like probably over three years now. Um, so I'm going to stick someone here. See how it's like, it was rose gold, but I think it's kind of rubbed off and it just looks gold now. So the good thing is as well, I can stick them on both sides. 
and it'll like totally match. I'm gonna stick one on now, just so we we'll see what it looks like, and then I'll probably just do the rest later. Um, and I'm gonna stick some on my computer as well. So I'm gonna choose one, and then I'm gonna stick it on. So I think I'm gonna stick Ariel, like right in the middle, and keep it quite. <gasps> Fun! Oh my god, my rabbit has decided that he's awake now and he wants to play, and he's just knocked over my studio lighting. I'm putting you in a pie. He hates the studio lighting. He always knocks it over, but normally it's not when I'm in the middle of recording the little pain in the butt. Imagine if I'd peeled off that sticker and he'd done that while I'd peeled off the sticker. I would have actually had to put him in a pie. So it just peels off. I don't know how well you can see that. And it's like clear. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my God, though. Apparently you can remove them. Apparently they're reusable. 19 removable. So I don't know if that means they're reusable, actually. Oh my god, now the pressure of getting Ariel straightened in the middle is crazy, right? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god, that looks so cool! Oh my god, I've placed that perfectly! Go me! Oh my god, right? Look! How cute is that? Oh my god! Oh my god, they're so cool! Oh my god. So I don't know where Matthew's sister got these, but I know that Boohoo were doing them for like £2 a couple of months ago. Um. Because I always like find like Disney merchandise like pretty much every day and put it on my story for you guys on my Instagram story and um, so make sure you follow me on Instagram for stuff like that and these were down at two pound and I put them on my story but I don't know I, I, it, they weren't like selling them off they were just on sale that day so I will try and find um somewhere that's doing them and I'll link them below I don't know how much they are full price or maybe they were four pound, I can't remember. But anyway, if you're interested, I'll link them below. Oh my God, I'm gonna stick these everywhere. That's so cool. But yeah, very happy with that. Okay, so the last Disney thing is actually off my sister and she made me it and she made it on Christmas day as well. She kept saying for months before Christmas, I'm making you Christmas present. And she's just had a baby like seven months ago. So I was like, no, you're not. Like you'll not get a chance to make my present, Amy. And I think she actually made it on Christmas morning because she handed it, handed me it and it was wrapped up. And she was like, it's probably still drying. So be careful with it. I was like, what? But it's amazing. And I've already asked that to make me two more because I used to have three paintings above my bed, like canvases above my bed. Bed. so I want three of these above my bed because I think I'll look so cool so she's gonna do me one for my birthday at the end of this month and then I think she's gonna do me one for Easter so I'll show you this one it's so amazing I don't know how she did it how amazing is this it's so glittery in person as well like I, mm, it's not really coming up glittery on camera I'll try and get it to focus on it it's so amazing like I literally don't know how she made this like she made this you are going in a pie if you do that one more time. Oh, why is it so hard to record? So literally, I don't know how she made this. I mean, I think what she must have done is bought glittery card and then cut it out. I don't know. I feel like this would take ages though. And she, I'm sure she made it on Christmas morning while the Ben was asleep, like having a nap. Um, Seriously though. How? How, Amy? How did you do this? So she's done me Maleficent, obviously, and it's above the bed. It's going to be the middle one. And she's already asked us which other two I want. And she's making me Hades. And I wanted Jafar, but she wasn't um, as fussed on what it would look like. Um, so I think she's doing me uh, either Cruella or Ursula. I'm not really sure. Oh, I don't know, but she's definitely doing me Hades. I think she's doing me Hades for my birthday. So my birthday haul, what I got for my birthday at the end of the month, will be my Hades one. So how cool is that though? So the going above my bed, and thank you very much, Amy. I think she did actually say as well that if enough people were interested in them, she would actually like make and sell them. So if anybody's interested, put it in the comments below and I'll tell Amy. <laughs> so if you just want to see the Disney stuff that I got for Christmas, then that is all the Disney stuff, but I'm gonna carry on now and show you the other stuff that I got. Like, my mom didn't get me anything Disney, which is like fine. Um, she got me other stuff, so I'm gonna show you everything that I got for Christmas that is not Disney now. Um, I mean, I might not show you everything. Some things I've already been eaten. Um, some things are, oh, I've left one of them downstairs. Oh, I'll have to go and grab it. And yeah, like some things I might forget, like, you know, lots of little things that you get and stuff like bath stuff might have already been used and stuff because it is like a good week or so after Christmas. But I'll try and show you as much as I can. I just went all the way downstairs to get something. 
and it wasn't even downstairs. How many times have I been up and down off this bed on this hall? Honestly. Okay, so I got this M um, perfume off Matthew. It's obviously from River Island because it says River Island on it. Um, I've been after this perfume for years, and I mean years, and it's only a tenner. And you're probably thinking, well, if you're after it for years, why didn't you just buy it? Perfume is one of those things where it's like, I feel like it should be, I don't know, I feel weird buying it for myself. I feel like it should be a gift. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But um, yeah, I remember I smelt it. I mean, how nice is that packaging, by the way, though? So nice for a tenner. I remember I smelt it. I went in years ago with my friend. I mean, I go in to River Island quite a bit to be honest but um I haven't smelt it for a while because I know I really want it I um smelt it when I was in with my friend one time and I was like oh my god it smells like Rihanna Rebel or Rihanna Nude but more vanilla-y and honestly this is like my perfect smell for a perfume and as well when you put it on you don't get used to it like even I can still smell it and I've been using it every day now since Christmas even when I have it on I keep getting wafts of it it's absolutely beautiful. River Island actually has quite a lot of perfumes, like most stores do these days. So yeah, that smells so good with my mouth watering. Um, and there's also a mini version, like a, a thin, like tall one to put in your purse. Although that's quite small. So yeah, it's just it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's called Night, so sorry, by Night. So it's River Island by Night. It's ten pound. Um, I said to Matthew like when we were in a couple of days before Christmas, I was like, I've been after this perfume for years and I'd never buy myself it and he must have gone back in uh, when we like broke apart for a few like half an hour to do a bit of Christmas shopping for each other and he must have gone back in and gotten it bless him so yeah I absolutely adore this like highly recommend seriously go into River Island and smell it I love it so the next thing is property of Negan t-shirt if you don't know what this is then you don't watch The Walking Dead and you should but yeah if you do watch The Walking Dead then you'll probably know what that means and you'll know who this is this this bat with barbed wire on Lucille 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 why can't I think of the name I'm terrible with the names honestly I've been calling um Negan Deacon for months and Matthew doesn't watch Walking Dead so I was saying to him oh my god it's so funny that you can get tops that say property of Deacon on them and Matthew doesn't know any different because he doesn't watch Walking Dead so he went on to the internet and typed in property of Deacon t-shirt like it's I seen someone wearing it on Instagram or something I just thought it was hilarious and then um, yeah he was like I can't find this Deacon guy but I can't ask her because then she'll know what I'm getting at Deacon doesn't exist Deacon's not a thing apparently I just made up a name Deacon his name's actually Negan so when I opened it on Christmas Day he was like is that the right top because I don't know who Deacon is and I was like oh my god I've clearly just been saying the, the wrong name for months. But I actually really like the simplicity of it. Uh, I've already wore it. I had it almost like full leather leggings and it looked pretty cool. So good choice, Matthew, even though you had absolutely no idea who Deacon or Walking Dead was or where to look for merchandise. So I think he said he just got it on like a random website, bless him. But I still really love it. I think it's so funny and it actually fits really nice. So from my mom, I got quite a lot of super dry stuff because my mom is obsessed with super dry. Like seriously obsessed my mom's obsessed with super dry like i'm not gonna lie it's a store that i don't really go in um and there's quite a big store in metro center in fact it's where the big primark used to be and now it's where woolworths used to be if you don't live in the northeast you don't know what i'm talking about but anyway my mom's obsessed with super dry and she always gets me and matthew my boyfriend uh super dry stuff for birthdays and christmases and i always really like the stuff she gets us like the, the quality is amazing i don't know much about the brand if i'm honest but um yeah, she always gets us stuff and I'm always like, you know what, why don't I actually go into that store more? So she got me this pink hoodie and um, it is just super dry, a pink hoodie, but the quality is so lovely. Oh, it looks really nice with my hair. But um, yeah, it's just such a nice, even though it's just a hoodie, instead of just going into like Primark, which you guys know I love Primark, but instead of like going into somewhere like that and just buying yourself like a five pound hoodie, like it's, sometimes it's just nice to be like treated and somebody get you something um, you know, just a bit more kind of like quality. Not that Primark's not quality. I, I don't like saying that because I love Primark. But do you know what I mean? It's nice to have something different. So it's got like pockets as well. And it's just a pink super dry hoodie. I have no idea how much this goes for. I do know that super dry can be quite expensive. But maybe that's just me because I'm used to Primark. Um, so yeah, she got me a pink super dry hoodie. She also got me the most amazing pink super dry hat and matching gloves. 
And she apparently was gonna get me beige ones and then my little brother was with her and was like, no, Sarah won't wear that. Uh, get her these bright, obscenely bright pink ones. Um, and she did and I absolutely love them. Like you would think that a hat and gloves for Christmas was like, oh cool, a hat and gloves, but honestly, it's like my fa favorite thing off my mom for Christmas, like a pink hat and glove set. And you're probably thinking, why don't you show us it, Sarah? I can't find it. I literally can't believe I can't find it. But here's a picture. I never know which side it is. Here's a picture of me wearing it. We went out basically the other day to do some photos and I must have left them in the car on the way back. I hope that's where I've left them. Um, and Matthew's out at work, so I can't like check. Um, and I'm recording now and he's not home for like another five hours. So yeah, I absolutely love them. Pink super dry hat and gloves. I'll link them below and that's the best that I can give you is a picture of me wearing them. I'm sorry, but yeah, I love them, but I, I can't show you them. <laughs> me mum also got me some Jack Wills, uh, like kind of tights, kind of socks. So they're just like dotty um, and they're just like tights. I love socks like this. I think they're so cute and unique. Um, you see the kind of like tights and I think it's one of those things eight pound bloody hell ma'am you can get these for like a pound in a Primark you can tell I'm such a cheapskate but um yeah so apparently they were eight pound in Jack Wills um is this a Jack Wills bag as well <laughs> I need to go to other shops other than Primark and Disney store and River Island I go in quite a lot I started going into more stores, but I get tired by the time I've spent like an hour in Primark, like. Anyway, she also got me this almond um, body shop little tin. It looks like a little card actually, like a playing card. And then inside is just some hand cream and a nail file. Um, my hands at the minute are so dry. Like I don't know what's wrong. Like I have no idea why they're so dry because I work from home now. Uh, so maybe I've got the heating on too much is that a thing I don't know but anyway this smells incredible and it's just like one of the gift sets from body shop so my mom also got me this for me and Matthew to share it's hotel chocolat or hotel chocolate whatever you say I think it's chocolat though because there's no e on it um, and it is the all dark collection vegan it says on it and there's quite a bit in there and it's a really nice box as well um, and like it came with this card as well it's like printed and it's got like our names on and it's like it's like a Christmas card with all the chocolates like to us from my mom and dad and little brother so that is the cutest thing ever um we've already opened this chocolate and it is very tasty and yeah we kind of save them these because I think with them being hotel chocolate it probably costs a little bit more so we're not like wolfing these back like some of the other stuff that we've eaten this Christmas so yeah I got that off my mom well I got it off my mom and dad but you know when your dad clearly has no idea any of the presents that you've got for Christmas like your mom does all the shopping <laughs> and then the last thing I got off my mom I think as far as I can say um is this set of SCUK um it says the porcelain rose garden and it's like loads of like bath stuff it's like two things and they're like like thingy together quite well um so I'll try and open them Urgh. I couldn't open it on Christmas day um my little sister had to open it for us so hang on so it says Ted Baker London so this is the smaller one that was on the front uh so it's got body lotion bubble bath bubble bath body lotion and then like a little towel oh that's a really nice pretty set so I have had these open by the way, it's just I haven't opened these again since Christmas because I was trying to keep everything in one pile so that I didn't forget to show you anything. And in this one there's body wash, summer, sorry, shimmer body wash and body wash. Oh my god that smells really nice. I can smell it. And then there's a really nice eye mask. Ooh. So yeah, I'm going to put these in my bathroom after this video and have a bath I think. So those were off my mother. So off Matthew's mum I got these socks, just a two pack of fluffy socks. I also got this candle and um, Matthew's mom is one of those parents that like you know when you get loads of little random things for Christmas not that there's anything wrong with that but you have no idea where they've got them from or anything like that like she's one of them she loves a stocking filler so she got me this candle and um, crisp a winter scented candle it smells really nice but I have no idea what brand it is starlight or who, like I've never heard of them but it smells really good so I'm going to put this on my bedside table. Okay, so I do know where this is from. She got me a perfume from Next. Um, it doesn't seem to have a name, which is weird. It just comes in a thing like that. I have had this out, by the way. <laughs> so it's a really cute little bottle. It's very French looking. Like, you could definitely put that in your handbag. But again, I don't know what it's called. 
Ooh, it's nice. I'm just gonna put this on my bedside table. <laughs> uh, off Matthew's sister, I also got some bath stuff. Matthew's sister gets me bath stuff every year and I never know where she gets it from. Like when I think of bath stuff, like bath bombs, I think of Lush. Like maybe that's just me. Um, but yeah, so she got me, so Matthew's already used one of these, but she got me this set of bath bombs and they, oh, they look like chocolate. They look like a selection of like chocolates and like cupcakes and things. So I don't know where she got them. There's a little thing that says, bomb, handmade and natural. Do bombcosmetics.com. Sorry, .co.uk. Oh, 10% off. Use bombade10 to receive 10% off your first order. There you go, guys. Bomb. So my Nana just gave me money this year because I had um, Matthew's family, like Matthew's side of the family, coming over for Christmas dinner. So I would normally have probably bought more Disney stuff. But um, yeah, like all of the money off my Nana went on food because there was six of us. I had Christmas dinner, I had to rent a table, I had to like decorate the table. So a lot of money went on that this year. And um, so I only bought three things with the Christmas money I got off my mom. So I'll show you them now because I think that's everything that I received as gifts. And my little sister got me some chocolates, but we've eaten them. So I've been eyeing some stuff up in River Island and waiting for the big River Island sale. But the problem is with the River Island sale, if you do not get there, it's six o'clock in the morning on Boxing Day, then everything goes, and I mean everything. But I managed to get two pairs of trousers, one pair I had been eyeing up, the other pair I'd been eyeing up sold out, and then I, got, I managed to get this pair, which I'd never seen before until the sale, and I'll put that picture again at the side that I showed you with the hat and gloves on, um, but that's me wearing these trousers, and I freaking love them. So if there's any left, because they're also on ASOS, uh, a lot of people don't realise that River Island is also on ASOS, um, they are like really flared, and they're like an orangey, pinky coral colour. Um, I absolutely love them. They're so flattering. They're like high waisted and they are really baggy and just like, I don't know. There's just something so chic about them. I just, I just love them. Um, so yeah, I got those with my Christmas money off my mom. Um, in the River Island sale, my sister actually went in on Boxing Day. I was like, there's no way I'm going in the shops on Boxing Day. My sister went in and she was like, what size do you want? And she was like, I found these pink trousers and yeah, she sent me a picture and I was like, yeah, go on and get us them. And then I went in the next day and met her and tried them on. Um, she went back in the next day and I, I wanted to go on the 27th because I knew it would be quieter. Also, the shops were a lot quieter this year, so I braved it and it was. It was quite, quite, quite quiet, actually. Well, it was busy, but it was quieter than I thought. So, yeah, still shopping wasn't that bad this year. Um, it's not something I'd like to do anymore unless it's quiet, which it was. So, I tried these on and, yeah, good choice, Amy. Good find. I love them. I think they were... Ooh. How much were they? Oh, I think they were 20 quid um, or 18. I'm not sure. The thing is with Ryland is they also sell their stuff on ASOS and the same stuff on ASOS is always cheaper. Even sometimes non-sale stuff, which is weird. So I think these were 20 in River Island, but on ASOS they were 18 or something like that, which is really weird. So that's the first thing I got on the sale. The next thing I got from River Island, I tried on when I was in store, because I needed to know what size I was, but I already ordered them on Boxing Day online. Um, and I um, I tried them on to make sure I'd ordered the right size. And I had ordered the right size, because I didn't think there'd be any left in store when I got in the next day. So um, yeah, I ordered these, and I'm pretty sure there's still some of these online. So these are like culottes. Um, so they're basically the paper bag waist tie trousers trend that's going on at the minute. I've got to admit when I first seen it I was like that's horrible but now that I've, it's kind of I've seen it a bit more like styled and more people wearing it I'm like actually I quite like it and I've tried them on and they're really comfy and actually really flattering and um, because there's a bit of detail on going around the waist and I love them. So yeah they're just grey check. I don't know how well the check's coming across on camera. With a little tie there and then they are cut offs but they are like a bit flared, almost like culottes, but not. But these were 42, and I seen someone wearing these in Metro Center before Christmas, and I was like, oh my God, I need them. And then they went down to, I think they were 17.50 on ASOS, but in store, they were about 20. So yeah, if there's any of these left in River Island, go and grab them, because they're amazing. Otherwise, I'll leave a link for them below. And the last thing that I technically got for Christmas, which I bought myself um, in the sales, was a pair of shoes um they're actually from top shop but um i went into the top shop in metro center and i was not planning on getting any boots like 
this was a bit of a naughty buy like i spent some of my own money on these like i'd run out of christmas money my family aren't like the type of family like if your family is and that's fine but my family aren't the type of family to give out like hundreds of pounds worth of money for christmas it's just not what we do um so between the two pairs of trousers and what i've got um what i had left i spent a bit of my own money on these as well which was really naughty because i'm skinned and i don't need these boots and i wasn't planning on buying them but i went into top shop and i seen them and i was like they're quite nice i'll try them on i was shopping on my own i wasn't vlogging because i was having a week off weekly vlogging and i was just like oh i'll, I'll try them on i mean not that vlogging would have made a difference but if i'd be if i'd vlogged i probably would have showed you guys them and been like oh my god but i was on my own i was waiting for my sister to arrive and uh yeah i tried them on and i was like oh my god like they are so nice so nice like it's the fit of them when they're on they look nice in person but then when they're on it's like a whole of a game like they have a version of these on like public desire and ego and everything and i've been after them but the fit of a lot of ankle boots comes up around the ankle quite like chunky and sticks out but these slope down the foot and they're very well fitted to the foot like you can tell they're more expensive um but obviously i got them in the sale so these were meant to be 62 and they were down to 40 which is how much the public desire ones are full price so yeah i put them on and i was just like oh the annoying thing was though is that they were a size four and i was like i'm a size five and i was like i can get my foot in but they really hurt and i was like asking the lady and she was like oh my god they've been our biggest seller they've sold out she was like i don't even know how you've managed to find a pair to try on and then she was like um, we've got none left not even online so there's probably none left to show you the link below but if there is i'll put them below and she was like i'll tell you what there's another top shop in metro center in debenhams it's a lot smaller but they might have a pair and i was like they won't have any and i don't need them but i'll go around and have a look and i went round and they had two pairs a four again and a five i picked them straight up and i was like yep yeah, i'll have these these over here mine the one was like do you want to try them on i was like no i just need them in my life i did try them on so now that i've hyped up these boots a ridiculous amount mm, oh my god I mean, I don't know if you guys are as obsessed as I am, but can you see how they kind of slope down a bit? Instead of just sticking up here and being like an ankle boot, they really fit the ankle and just look great with like jeans or leggings or trousers. Like I can't explain it. Maybe I'm just being weird, but oh my God, I just love them. And they are a good height that I can walk around in these and do a bit of shopping. Like I don't walk around and do loads of shopping anyway. Like, you know, sit down a lot for cups of teas and stuff blah blah, blah. um and they're not too pointed that the ugly i don't think um some pointed things are just like ooh, that's too pointed but oh i don't know i seen them and i was like i'm gonna try them on because i quite like them and i've been wanting a pair from public desire and then i put them on and i was just like mm. so yeah i'm just obsessed there's like a little like metal thing here and um, so yeah these were naughty but i trapped myself to them and yeah, I'll try and put a clip of me trying them on so you can see what they look like on the foot since I've gone on and on about it. But yeah, I uh, I got myself these. I haven't worn them yet. Don't know when I will wear them, but I want to wear them. And I love them. And they were from Topshop and they were £40 in the sale. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure that is everything that I got for Christmas. Everything that was Disney and then some other stuff. And then everything that I bought for myself. So yeah. I hope that's okay i've really missed you guys i probably seem really crazy and loud right now because i'm like oh my god i'm recording again yay <laughs> but anyway i hope this video was okay um i'm gonna get on recording some other videos so if you like this video and you want to see more from me i also have my december disney haul coming up very soon i've got an imp haul coming up which has got a lot of disney stuff in it as well um but non-disney stuff as well if you're not as fussed on disney although if you're on my channel you probably are obsessed with disney like i am <laughs> give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you very soon guys and weekly vlogs will be starting on the 8th of january so come back for them i'll see you in my next video bye guys